prefer to, whether you try to find new methodology to help like someone like Steve Hooker, is that calling colleagues and, and picking their brain? Is it, yeah. you mentioned research, what's your favourite way to, to develop your own craft? Yeah, yeah. So, to, so develop your own knowledge, I think, you know, one of the things is you're talking and being open about cases. So discussing cases. I mean, in, in the AFL, or the NRL, whatever sport it is at the elite level, we're always trying to get our patient, our players, our athletes back as quickly as we can and safely as we can. So ringing people within your network across fields, um, you know, I was lucky enough to do a little bit of lecturing at Aspatar and, you know, you've got that some genius people over there and, you know, um, you can join on your contacts, even in the research worlds over there, they're a real research hospital. You can ring up and say, look, what's the latest on this? Have you guys got anyone back earlier on this protocol? For those that haven't been there, um, who is your, who's your classic? client that works with you what, who are the athletes that work with you um yeah, talk yeah. Us through the yeah so the business is separate to the point where so the eagles guys will come up and, and um and do their high performance stuff and their dexa testing and their vo2 max testing and their um you know uh, bone density testing that that they have as a part of research um, mm -hmm. if they need a biodex testing they come up and use those those things which are often used for return to sport testing or um you know measuring <clears throat> weaknesses um most you know most of the stuff they need is down at the actual footy club but the occasional time to come and use the high performance stuff that's where they come up so the same stuff is offered to the community and so i guess we've got a high performance part which is a small aspect of the clinic i mean our mm -hmm. clinic is based around physio and treating sports injuries back pain arthritis you know your day-to-day -day patients that we'll all see that can all do with exercise but the high performance part of it is for the um, you know, recreational or semi-elite or anyone who wants to actually get that the best out of themselves. Going back to your career progression, how, how did you get that first experience in 2004 at West Coast? What was the original role? Um, probably through the current physio there, Paul Tucker. So um, we both worked at athletics uh, with the WACE athletes. He was, doing, he was probably doing a bit with the pole vaulters at the time as well, uh, yep. with big Paul Burgess, who's now coaching the pole vault there. But... Um, and then Tuck's moved into that role at the Eagles. It was, it was probably one of the first full-time physios to go into AFL, actually, in about 2003. So mm -hmm. I followed up his role at athletics involved with different things I was doing. And, yeah, I just hit around town. He sort of, my name came up and, you know, jumped in very part-time with him to start with. Which movie or TV series has impacted the most of my, and you can ch throw in book as well if you're not a, a TV, TV well, probably, guy. Yeah. Probably the opposite for me. I wouldn't like to say I'm not a book guy, but um, yeah, maybe a bit of ADD doesn't allow me to read books um, that well. So podcasts, movies are good. Look, one of my favourite movies, Pulp Fiction, that's got nothing to do with anything here. So we'll go with my second favourite movie, um, yep. Shaw, Shawshank Redemption. So yep. I think that's, you know, a favourite a lot of people. And yeah, classic. Uh, with Morgan Freeman and Tim Robbins and Andy Dufresne doing what he did, overcoming the seemingly impossible mission you know, um, being dealt some shitty hand and, you know, thought through what, you know, in the prison system, what you think no one would ever do. I can't remember if it was based on a true story or not now. It should be. It's such a good movie. 